pissed off penguins here. Uh, today we're going to look at, uh, just as in Angry Birds, there are different types of birds you can shoot. Let's create another type of tux we can shoot. So let's go to our second layer here. Uh, and I'm going to make sure that I have add-ons added in here. So image uh, import images to plane. And I'll use that to import from our images folder here. I download a new image of tux. Gotta make sure I check shadeless, alpha, and pre-multiply. Import image, it's right there, but it's facing up. So let's hit R for rotate, X 90. Let's grab it and move it up here and scale it up a little bit. As you can see, it's tux dressed as Batman. And we're gonna say, um, apply rotation and scale. And at this point, let's add some physics to it. We'll say that it's a rigid body. Collision bounds as a box. And we can just shift click this tux and go down to objects, game, copy logic bricks. So now it has the same logics as that. Uh, so if we go to our first layer here, and for right now, we'll just change this. We'll click our empty object here and we'll change this edit object that says shoot tux that we labeled earlier. We will change that from tux one to tux bat PNG. P to play. And he has all the same aspects as the other tux, except for, as you can see, he's not killing the bad guys. So what we'll do is we'll go to the second layer here and make sure he has a property called tux with a capital T. Because that's what the bad guys know when something collides with the property of tux. That's what's going to kill them. Boom, boom, boom. I missed that last one. Okay. So we have that now, but he's acting just like the other tux, so he looks different. No, we need to give him other functionality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our third layer here. Once again, import image as plane. And I'm going to choose this one called Batarang. And we're going to add shadeless alpha and pre-multiply. Import, once again, rotate x90. We'll scale it down a little bit, and then we'll also... Let's scale it down a little bit more. We'll also say... Uh, apply rotation and scale to that. Under physics, we will make it a rigid body with a box. And then as far as its actions, let's say that it is always, what's it always going to do? It is always going to have a motion, like that there, of rotation on the y-axis at 10 degrees. If I hit P now, you see it falls and rotates. Let's do this. Perfect. Okay. So now that we have that created. Uh, we also want it to be able to kill the bad guys. So we're going to give it a property uh, called Tux. Once again, it doesn't matter what type of property it is, what type of variable it is, as long as it's called Tux, because that's all that the bad guys check for currently. Another thing we're going to do here, though, is we're going to add in our constraint uh, for the y-axis, making sure that it, since it's a 2D game, it doesn't move forward and back, only up, down, left, and right. Now going back to our bat tux here, let's select him. And we have here, you know, the same functionality, sounds, and whatnot that the other tux did. Let's add, let's make this full screen here so that uh, you guys can see it a little bit better. And to get rid of that side tab there, and to bring it back up if I didn't say it earlier. We're going to add a keyboard sensor here and click here and I'm going to press down arrow. So it will have a function when you press down arrow. It will say add and what we're going to do is we're going to edit object. And we're going to under edit object, add object and that object we're going to add is the Batarang. And we are going to set its life to, we'll say 100, we don't want it to be alive for too long. Let's go back to our first layer here, line this up and have a look at what we got. So I can shoot my tux, my bat tux, and he flies over just like the other tux did. But now, uh, anytime he's up on the screen, if I press down arrow, he drops little batarangs that kill the bad guys. Let's go back to our third layer here. I think I made that batarang a little too small. There we go. Let's try that now. So the batterings will kill the bad guys 
just as the tux will. Now, obviously, especially on this level, it's pretty easy to just drop a whole bunch of them. Uh, and in a future tutorial, we'll limit that to probably three batterings being able to be dropped. So we just create a new tux uh, that we can shoot, and we're moving on with these tutorials and getting the game uh, even more complete. So I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K.